DJI have just launched a new version of their Fly app 1.8.0. This allows support for the brand new DJI Mavic 3 Classic. But for all of those other drone users that are using the DJI Fly app, they have revised one of the major menus to make it a bit more simple to use. One of the best plus points about this new menu is it actually fixes a long-standing issue for those of you that have got the DJI Mini 2 for something that hasn't been working forever such a long time. Now I'm going to show you on this video exactly what has changed and just give you a quick demonstration so you can see exactly how this new menu works and how adjusting the values I'm going to show you in this video actually affects the way the drone actually flies. So let's get into it. So to start with, from my eyes, nothing else has changed on this app apart from the new revised menu I'm going to show you in a few moments. I can see no additional features over and above what we basically saw on the last version, 1.7.8. Now, I have been out flying the DJI Mini 3 Pro and the Air 2S to test this fully. And from my flight testing, basically going through all the functions I usually do, I'm pleased to say that everything seems to work exactly as it should however because this has fixed an issue directly with the DJI Mini 2 I thought it would be appropriate to use this for the test flights now this new menu layout relates to the advanced gimbal settings and EXP settings or expo if you wish you see before we had two separate menus with the settings for aircraft rotation speed and smoothness and the same for the gimbal for cine smooth normal and sport all in one incredibly messy menu and of course we had the EXP menu also in a completely separate option. Now the well documented issue with the DJI Fly app and the Mini 2 is if you actually changed any of the setting values specifically for the aircraft rotation speed and smoothness, if we did hit that reset button absolutely nothing happened. So you was kind of stuck with whatever values you had set them to over and above what DJI actually recommend. But I am pleased to say that this has all been fixed with the new menu. So let's now take a look. Now as you can see in instead of having two menus, it's all nicely grouped together in the one screen for each individual speed mode. And I think this is just so much better and it's so much more clear to see. I genuinely really like this new layout. Now in sport, cine or normal, you can see DJI have given us a different set of values based on what they suggest. So let's take a quick look at what happens if we adjust them. So keeping it in normal mode, what we're going to do is just increase that rotation speed within the app. Now, if we turn the stick left to right, you can see the drone goes absolutely crazy. The aircraft rotation speed is incredibly fast. Now, basically, that's going to be too much. So we're going to obviously bring that a little bit back down. Now, if we take a look at the smoothness setting, basically, if the smoothness setting is set to low, what will happen is once we release the stick, the drone will come to a pretty harsh stop. Now, in sport mode, is even more harsh and in cinema mode because it's supposed to be cinematic it's of course a lot better so let's just adjust uh, that setting because the last thing we want is harsh stops so let's just increase that smoothness and of course when we yaw the aircraft when we let go of the stick you can see the drone continues rotating basically adjusting the braking and obviously as you can see this is way too much so what we're going to do is just lower that back down to something a bit more reasonable and as you can see that is a huge amount better. You can also use these settings down at the bottom to do the exact same with the gimbal speed and smoothness. A quick demonstration of that will show one extreme to the other, either incredibly fast or incredibly slow or increasing the smoothness or decreasing the smoothness. But hopefully now you have a good idea of the actual effect adjusting all of these will have on your drone. However, unlike before, the huge bonus now is the fact that with this new revised menu, as you can see, on the DJI Fly app because we are using the DJI Mini 2 you can now see that if we do hit that reset button it actually works and the values go back to what DJI intended them to. I'm incredibly surprised it has taken DJI so long to actually get the fix um, for this one but at least it is finally here. Now, the eagle eye of you may have also noticed that the exponential settings have also moved. Now, this is quite hard to explain what this does, so I'll 
try my best to give it a go. Basically, moving the EXP settings softens the effects of the sticks around the centre point. Imagine a modern day car with Eco Mode and Sport Mode. In Eco Mode, it softens the effects of the pedal being pushed so you accelerate more smoothly compared with in Sport Mode, where as soon as you push that pedal flat down, you have immediate throttle response. So using this example here, if we adjust this setting, you can see where able to make really nice smooth movements by gradually easing the stick whereas before if we have it on the opposite setting as soon as we push that stick we get immediate movement from the drone uh, and this really helps by playing around with these to get really really smooth cinematic footage and just overall helps you fly so much more smoother in addition to the settings I have already shown you. Now if you're not already and you are finding great value in this video now would be an absolutely perfect time to hit that subscribe button and the bell notification to be notified whenever I post any of my videos showing the fly app reviews just like this one. Now the overall rest of the app seems to work exactly as it should. I didn't particularly have the issue today with the upper gimbal toggle switching off whilst in flight but by the same token I cannot confirm that it is fixed as when I did close and reopen the app uh, for some reason it seemed to be off again so that's not great. Uh, performing a simple return to home test as I always do on my channel did exactly as it should and all is good there. So please do let me know your thoughts on this update and what you think to the new menu system. Overall this app version seems completely good to go however as usual if you do not like it or it fails to work properly on your device you can always use the link in my video description to my own personal Google Drive uh, where you can access all of the old Android APK files to go back to an older version uh, or go back to the one that worked best for you. So there we go that wraps up this video drones tested mini 2 mini 3 air 2s the main drones you viewers watch my channel for everything seems absolutely perfect and of course one of the major features as already mentioned that wasn't working with this mini 2 is now fixed with the new dji fly app menu so now it'd be a good time to say goodbye please do hit that thumbs up if you found this video useful until next time see you again soon